Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Angel if you're new here. Thank you so much for tuning in today to this home gym transformation. I'm super excited for this video. I worked so long on it. So today I'm showing you how I transformed our cellar into this home gym. So first of all, I wanted to talk a little bit about my why because it's a huge investment um, and it's not a thing you do like within a week. So these are my reasons why I wanted to get a home gym. So first of all, I love working out at home. I've worked out at home basically my whole life, like since my teens. So I always loved working out at home, but lately I wanted to get more into weight training, into strength training, and I kind of felt limited by the space in my room and also the equipment, because I used to work out in my room, and my room is pretty small so and I also can't hold a lot of equipment therefore I have a futon bed so I always used to put it away and then work out just in the middle of the room but at some point like I felt really limited and then I thought about getting a gym membership but the gym is like 20 to 30 minutes away from where I live because I live in a very very small village so for me that's just a time commitment that I didn't want to make and then also with the whole situation right now like I'm not sure if I'm even able if I'm even allowed to go to the gym later in the autumn because usually they kind of restrict more again so I didn't want to commit and then I can't go and I still have to pay and then also the cost of a gym membership is already about like 40 to 50 euros a month and that's like 500 euros a year 500 euros that could already be like a quarter of a uh, full home gym. I will be working out for the rest of my life, like I'm sure of that. I've always worked out like for years now and I'm really confident that I will keep on working with weights because I really love it. In four to five years it will already be paid off and then in the long run I can even save money doing that. So that was my why I wanted to get a home gym. So now let's get into the journey. So first of all, I was thinking about where. Where do I want to have this home gym? Because we have like a huge house, but all the rooms are already occupied with things. And then I thought about our cellar room because my dad has a two-part workshop where he works with our wood. And then he has one space he rarely uses just to kind of glue things together. Then I asked him and first he was not amused. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense because it's his workspace. But then we talked about the like back and forth about the positives and negatives about home gym, gym. And then finally, like after some time, he was okay with it and we kind of split up the room. So I have like about three quarters of it and my dad has a small workspace where he still glues stuff together. Yeah, I think he's still not really 100% happy about it, but like in the end he was okay with it and even helped me with building the home gym. I will be forever grateful that I am allowed to kind of intrude in his space. And then the fun part began, so the ordering. And from the beginning I already knew what I wanted because I, like I said, used to work out in my room and I really wanted a barbell, but then I like I needed some kind of squat rack. And that already would have used so much space that I don't have in my room. And then I thought, wow, so many programs have like cable machines and cable exercises. And then I would need some new dumbbells. And then I thought, wow, hexagon dumbbells would be really nice because they look so good and they are just very nice to use because you can actually like, they don't roll away. Yeah, so I already knew what I wanted. And then I began to just put everything in Excel, searching for the cheapest options because I'm still on a budget. I don't have thousands to spend. Looked around what is the cheapest option with still very high quality. And then I began to order, <laughs> which was a really nice part. So I ordered the stuff and then we already began cleaning the room because the room was a mess. <laughs> I mean, it's naturally a mess because it's a workshop and we cut wood and stuff like that. Um, but it was very dusty, floors and even the walls were dusty. Like even the ceiling, I vacuumed everything 
and you could literally see all the dust coming off the walls. And yeah, we removed all the spiders, cleaned the whole room, each wall, the ceiling, the floor, and then we put all of my dad's stuff into his corner. So that was basically everything for cleaning the room. And then we already started with the floor. I got really lucky here because I ordered everything at the same time, but the floor arrived first, which was really nice because that's the first thing you do, basically. So I ordered these thick pads, like gym pads, and then we began spreading them out on the floor. And I again <laughs> got really lucky because I ordered three packages and that was like literally perfect. Like we used every single mat. So I just put them together and then we decided to cut the edges where the mats interlaced so they fit perfectly to the wall. As easy as that, the floor was already laid out. And then I received a lot of packages. And here I let my past self kind of lead this video. Hi guys, so today is the 9th of March and I'm about to drive somewhere but I just wanted to tune in real quick and explain the home gym situation. Just a few days ago we put out the floor, the black mats and then recently I received a package for my bench and we already built it together and set it up. And then I decided to put all my weights down into the cellar from my room. I ordered some kind of stand to put on my hexagon weights. And then also another kind of stand to put on the weighted plates for my squat rack. So I received a lot of packages I will show you now. Maybe unpack a little bit with you. I'm excited. It takes a little longer than I expected because of COVID. It kind of gets pushed back so the squat rack takes a little while longer but we'll see let's go down and i'll show you what i got and yeah let's go so here we are those are the new packages that i just received here's the bench <laughs> and it's a mess right now so as you can see the weights are all over the place because i have just so much room now yeah i think let's unpack So they are a little bit oily, <laughs> kind of, so I have to wipe them down a little bit. And then in here, I think there are 15 kilograms, because I already got 20, 10, and that's 15, I think. Yes, 15, here we go. And those weights are just from some no-name company because weights are expensive. <laughs> like, I was shocked. I had no idea. I counted in my squat track and thought, mm, yeah, it's expensive, but I can manage. <laughs> it's great. But then I saw the price of the weighted plates and it's like, are you kidding me? <laughs> so expensive. So I just got some no-name weighted plates, which are still like very good quality like professional Olympic weights. So yeah, anyway. And then last but not least, I think this is my dumbbell rack, but I'm not sure. Let's see. Too much plastic. So as you can see, those are my normal weights. Those are my new hexagon weights. I got a barbell for later. So this is for later for my squat rack because it has an added, um, I don't know what it's called in English, um, but I will add it to the screen. Then I have my weighted plates, some more dumbbells. Here I've got some booty bands, which are pretty old, some yoga blocks. This is how far I am right now. And I'm excited to add more, build onto it. And yeah, I'm excited to show you the progress and how it ends up looking like. Super excited. So as you saw, I got a lot of packages and we already built everything together, like the bench, the dumbbell rack and the rack for the weighted plates. Then the last main thing, the last really huge package that we received was our squat rack with the cable machine. So then we built the squat rack together, added the cable machine, also then put on the mirrors on the walls. Unfortunately, I didn't film any of this process because it was just a lot of work and I didn't want to film everything. And I thought like, you guys know how to build stuff. I knew it's a transformation video. Yeah, I can still show the transformation without actually showing the building of stuff.
So we started to build up this core track today. It's not finished yet, like the main thing is already here, but I realized, like I bought a barbell before I got this core track and I realized that it's too short. The main thing, so this here where you put the plates on, that this actually lies here and it's not good because then you can't put on the plates all the way, so it's too short. That's the situation here right now. So still a lot of work to do. Also, I got a few more dumbbells here. Hexagon dumbbells, 10 kilos, 12.5 kilos. And then here we have 2.5, I think. You already saw these things. This is the situation right now. And I'm super excited to work out tomorrow already and use this squat rack. All right, so after nearly 300 tries, of finding the perfect place to film, I decided to film in public. <laughs> no, it's not that public. Anyway, so what this is about is the home gym situation because I haven't filmed in a long while. So we already put up the squat rack and the cable machine that is added to it. I already built up my dumbbell rack for my weighted plates the rack. Honestly, it's already nearly done. I also already got my other barbell, so the longer one which does fit. <laughs> so this is super exciting and I just have one more thing to do which is putting together a cupboard I think. But I have to build it and then I can put the smaller things into it because everything is just lying around. So I will have to put this together and then put everything in its place. Also yesterday I ordered two more things which is a like step up thing and then also a throwing ball, like a throw ball, like a sand ball. This will come in the next few days and then I'm literally done. I will probably build onto it a little bit more with time. I don't know if I have time to put it together today, this thing, but I will definitely show you how far I am right now. I am so sorry that I couldn't film the building up of the squad track and placing the mirrors, but it was like a lot of work and a lot of people and didn't want to hassle with that as well. Let's take a look then. So I put on my wide angle lens for you so you can see a bit better. As you may notice, or may not, the squad track, we moved it. Like now it's facing to me a different direction before it was facing this way. Um, we did that because otherwise it would have just used way too much space here. So I wouldn't have any space at all for any other movements. Um, also then I can use kind of the squat rack for support for my hip thrusts, which is really nice. Then this is the squat track from the side. As you can see, we added the cable machine here and that's why it got so long. As you can see, it really is a long thing. So it would have just used way too much space if we put it any other way. Um, but I'm pretty happy with this mirrors. We have two in front of the space to train and then one next to the squat rack so I can kind of check form. You can already see I have my second barbell here. This one is uh, for the hip thrusts and this one is the long one which does fit. And then all this small stuff I will just put here in my cupboard, which I still have to build together. But I then will put it here in this corner because you can see there's some kind of discoloration here. So I will put all this stuff then in here and then it will look really, really nice. So <laughs> this is the current situation like and it's already done basically. So people, this is it for now. Now I have to build this cupboard thing. And then I will put everything together and maybe then I'll show you again how it looks like the final look. But it's basically already done <laughs> and I'm so excited. Like, look at that. Like, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. Who needs a gym when you have this, for real?
guys, so as you can see, I built together the shelf, I researched the word, <laughs> and then I put in all the small stuff and I cleaned up the gym a little bit. And now I'm going to give you a really, really short, kind of quick tour again, like just how it looks like, cleaned up and everything. I'm in love. <laughs> it's finished now. Um, there are a few more things coming, like the smash ball, this, the sand ball, as I said, also the step ups and two more kettlebells. So when this is here, everything is finished, done, and yeah, it's very really exciting. All right, so this is the final look, how it looks when you come in. <laughs> oh, it looks so good. Here are my play weighted plates, squat rack, my bench, a small space to work out. And then here I now kind of put the weights, the dumbbell rack more to the side. Here I have the new shelf with the small stuff. This is basically it. The whole home gym. Like I said, a few more things are coming, but basically the layout and everything major is already here. And that is my home gym. Like I'm so grateful and I'm so happy how it turned out. I had no idea that it would turn out so beautifully. I really invested everything, my whole energy into this room and I'm so happy how it turned out. So and then we come to the price question. Maybe some of you like are curious. <laughs> I dare say it was not cheap. It was like about 2,500 euros to 3,000 euros. Like I'm not sure, I didn't do the math yet. But I plan to do a video if you want to see it about like breaking down the whole cost thing and what I got um, and showing you everything in detail. If you're interested in that, comment down below and I will definitely do that video. But all together it was about 2.5 to 3k, which is really expensive. And again, I am privileged. I know that. I know that it is worth the investment and it's a lifetime investment for sure. And it's just a thing that is really important for me working out. That was my home gym transformation. I hope you liked this video, guys. It was a lot of work filming everything, but I really enjoyed the journey and I will definitely always look back onto this video and then kind of, yeah, see how everything turned out. So if you liked today's video, guys, somewhere down here, you can subscribe if you want to see more. And I will definitely upload a lot more videos because I really love filming. Also guys, if you have like any question, please comment and I will answer as soon as possible. And yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for sharing your precious time with me and for tuning in. I wish you a great, great day and hope to see you in my next video again.